guys it's nikki welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new today i'm going to be doing a sit down video a talking video we're going to be talking about ultrasound sonography we're going to talk about what my experience has been like post-grad it's been one year well a year and a half and i've been putting off this video a little bit because i've been tired but we'll get into all that um but i wanted to talk to you guys about do i still love ultrasound do i recommend ultrasound as a career um, and i just wanted to talk to you guys and be honest with you guys about your experience as a new grad in the first year because i feel like everybody's experience is obviously going to be a little different um and i feel like i just wanted to shed some light on a few things that i feel like i don't see people talk about too too much so we're just gonna get in number one i want to say would i recommend ultrasound as a career and my answer is 100 a million times yes i love this field um i think it is such a rewarding career i feel like we get the opportunity to talk and connect with patients as we scan them and although of course we're not giving them results or anything um we're contributing to that patient's wellness and their well-being and also you know you become you kind of help like relieve that person's anxiety and you know sometimes you're obviously gonna have those patients who don't see it that way or who are not receptive to that which is fine everybody kind of deals with their trauma or with what they're going through in their own certain way but i just think that this career is very rewarding and the fact that I've had patients who have just thanked me for me being kind or for me even doing my exam and just had positive patient experiences that outweigh the bad. Like I said, it really all depends. I still work at a hospital, but I'll talk more about my new career endeavors. Um, but I work mainly at a hospital, so people don't feel well, you know? Um, and it's just you're just dealing with different types of people from all different walks of life. It goes for like your coworkers, you know? And you're not always going to, let's say, be best friends with every single coworker. Um, but what I like is that I feel like Ultrasound is a very like tight knit community. And no matter what, thankfully my coworkers, I know that I can ask them a question. I don't feel judged and, I, and they understand that I am a new grad. Um, and that sometimes we have questions. Sometimes you'll have seasoned sonographers who ask you, you know, questions or ask for a second pair of eyes on things. And I really love that teamwork. And I love, like I said, I just love how rewarding I feel like ultrasound is, um, especially when you can really connect with a patient or when you can help be a part of how that patient gets treated and how they are going to feel better. I wanted to talk about registries as well. So I did create a couple videos on here. I took my abdomen registry right when I graduated and then six months after that, so six months into me working last June, I took my vascular. I have not taken my OBGYN yet. <laughs> I know, I'm not ashamed of it. I'm a little annoyed with myself. Um, but if you are a new grad or if you're someone who's going to graduate or thinking about going to ultrasound school like what i recommend take all your registries like try to take them like right when you graduate or right before or like within that first year because when i tell you after i took like six months like a couple months to study for vascular um i have been recovering and that was in june okay and not being in school and not having that structure is just different. You know, I have my full-time job. So, and now I have a second job. So, you know, it's hard to kind of create time to study because I just feel like sometimes I feel overwhelmed and I just want to not think about ultrasound for a second. So, um, I definitely do wish that I had taken it sooner, but I'm still going to take it. Of course, as soon as I can, um, as soon as I get the ball rolling with studying. Um, but I, I definitely recommend taking all your registries like as soon as you can and as soon as you feel comfortable with them because I just think that that's going to be the best way for you to get them out the way um, and to have everything under your belt. Like I said, I did start a new job. I actually started a new job a couple months ago. So now I have two jobs, which I'm very grateful for. So my main job is at a hospital. And then I also work now at an outpatient center because I wanted that outpatient experience. Um, and I'm very grateful for it. And then 
they are supposed to be teaching me breast over there which I'm really excited for because I do want to eventually take my breast registry as well because it's something that we don't see at the hospital we only see breasts for like rule out abscess um typically so that's been an experience but when I tell you outpatient versus hospital are like polar opposite jobs as a sonographer it's crazy um the shift that I work at the hospital can tend to be pretty busy um and recently like we added another person to the shift thank goodness that kind of helps with that workload um and at the outpatient they just kind of schedule you every 20 minutes every 20 minutes you got a patient um and doing that for 10 hours like I've done upwards of like 25 patients a day, which in turn also led to me feeling some back pain, some shoulder pain. And I never thought that I would like feel that so young in my career because at first I didn't. But when I was working even at my hospital job, um, I would feel that. Um, but you know, it would go away with my days off. But then now that I have another job, so now I work more days a week um definitely been feeling that and it's funny because i feel it on the contralateral side not on like with my scanning arm i feel it on the opposite so i don't know i asked some of my coworkers because i was like guys i'm freaking out like what is this and they said they felt that too um so also if you're thinking of going into the field just know like yeah you kind of feel a little bit of pain you know sometimes i know some of my coworkers like their hand will cramp up um it just, you know, it all depends and you have to keep stretching and you have to just learn what your body likes, what kind of stretches or what kind of movements and how to have proper like ergonomics to prevent that. Um, but sometimes I feel like when I'm just on a roll and I'm just going and going and going, I'm not thinking about that, which I should be because I do not want to, you know, deal with long term effects of it. Um, so I think one thing about sonography, too, that I feel like it's talked about but I feel like when you're looking into sonography you're like oh yeah I'm just gonna scan babies or whatever there are so many different aspects to it and one of them being like the musculoskeletal disorders that can occur due to working in that field so just be cautious and I just would say be cautious of your body and just know or know when to recognize it and just know what to do and find maneuvers or stretches or workouts that work for you even if it's an ice pack uh warm pack whatever like damn i feel like i'm 85 but i'm not clearly so i also wanted to talk about because i feel like everybody always talks about the positives which i love my job like i said but there's also been cons um or just i've had a bunch of learning experiences in this past year and you know as much as i try to be the most perfect sonographer and see every little thing that i can doesn't always happen that way and I've definitely had my fair share, not my fair share, but I've definitely had my moments where, you know, you look back and you see, oh my God, I missed this in a case. And it can be very taxing, I feel like, on your mind. And I feel like I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it, but we're human and I've had to reiterate that to myself because I try my best in my career it's my job I love what I do and I try my best to be perfect and I try my best to you know see every single thing um but sometimes when you're overwhelmed or if you have a lot of patience or if you you know are just scanning too quickly you know you can unfortunately miss things and you have to I've learned in this past year that I really have to like put that in the back of my head when I go into that room and I'm scanning that patient that is all that matters I'm not thinking about okay, I have two other stats. Well, this is my priority right now. I'm not saying the patient or the exam was never the priority, but I really had to learn how to prioritize things properly because I would get overwhelmed so easily. I already deal with anxiety. Um, and that could lead to, you know, mistakes. And I feel like we all learn from mistakes, but I do want to just give the advice and just share that, like, I feel like we all make mistakes, even though it's not talked about, unfortunately. Um, but we learn from them and we grow and we know for next time so that it doesn't happen again and that you know how to approach the situation and you know how to tackle on whatever pathology or whatever like whatever difficulty that case brings because you've already went through it you've experienced it hey I might have messed up this time but I'm gonna get it right every other time I'm gonna try to get it right every other time and I think that that's also something in this career that you have to learn is to you're always going to have to be open to learning 
because you're not going to be perfect because you're going to think you had everything perfect and they're going to get a call from the rat and be like why didn't you do this did you forget this or like why does this look like this you know which is fine it's great to have open communication with the radiologist but i love that i feel like i'm constantly learning and i love that it opened my mind to constantly learning if that makes sense because i feel like sometimes with other jobs like you can just be you know straightforward you know how to do everything you're going to do it in the same way every single time with ultrasound every single patient is different every single body habit is different every single liver is going to look different every single kidney is going to look different every single uterus is going to look different and it may intimidate you or surprise you in the moment but that's okay like we learn from those moments and we grow um and i just wanted to say that it's okay as long as you learn from those mistakes and you try your best to strive and never make those mistakes again, study that thing, you know, really embed it into your brain and into your mind so that you know that you will never make that again. Or like, you know, even if you see like an interesting case and like how like a season tech went about it, like kind of learn that and know that you can go about it in that way. I just, like I said, I just think that one of the biggest things in this field is having an open mind and, you know, Although our images, I feel like, are very personal because we're the ones taking them and we're the ones adjusting our TGCs and we're the ones, you know, doing the maneuvers or asking the patient to do this, that, and we're the ones that are surveying it. But I just feel like we have to learn to not be so hard on ourselves um, because I feel like it's very easy to because it's so personal and because it's so strictly, it's so strict to that tech. These are the images that that tech took and these are the images that that tech forgot to took, forgot to take. You know, but I feel like we have to kind of learn how to somewhat strip that person, personal aspect to it and, you know, just have an open mind. Um, having conversations with a radiologist or even with a supervisor or a coworker is not a bad thing and don't take it as negatively. You know, they're not trying to put you down. At least I hope they're not. You know, that's not their intention. I feel like our intention as sonographers should be to where everybody's on the same level and everybody's growing so that we we as a team can be better and can prevent mistakes and further mistakes from occurring um to also you know let it be known like i'm here if you have a question or something's difficult ask me like i'm here let's help each other like let's tag this together let's tag team this patient you know let's you know get a second pair of eyes like teamwork i think is very important in this field as well um, and I'm grateful that I have a great team where I can do that with. If you ever feel like you can't, I, I'm sorry, but I do think that it's something that is very important and should be important in this field. Yes, I've had an overall positive experience. I love my job and I love what I do. I love the fact that where I work at, at the hospital, um, we get a plethora of exams recently, which is so exciting. So we've been doing transcranial Dopplers. We got a dolphin machine. Um, to perform those exams with so it's a non-imaging exam for us i know a lot of people will do them on their regular machines we use the dolphin and i had no experience i never even saw it as a student but recently i got trained in it and i believe i'm if i'm not comped because i just did um a tcd for the past few days which was insane and exciting and i'm so happy it's tedious it's a tedious exam um and I'm just so happy. Also, the reason why I got an outpatient job is because they're gonna teach me breast ultrasound, which I kind of talked about a little bit before. So I'm learning that slowly but surely. It's a little hard because like I said, patients every 20 minutes, you're not getting like a bunch of learning time, um, but I'm being patient with it. And I'm kind of going with it for now, but to be learning something new, I it just excites me it makes me so happy i was so happy when i got through that tcd by myself for the first time like last week i was like oh my god <laughs> ah! like finally like not having someone up there with me um it's it's so rewarding and that's another part that i feel like is so rewarding like grasping onto new concepts and being able to do them on your own and perform them and have them be diagnostic and you know i am just so over the moon about it and I'm so happy to be growing in this field and you know with me being a year in as well a year and a half in I'm so blessed and I'm so grateful um that was like honestly what inspired me to do this video too I was like oh there's like pros and cons but like this is like my favorite one right now because learning a new skill it's crazy I never would have thought
I honestly, I used to look at it and I was like, I will never touch that machine. Like that is just hard. Um, but don't look at things that way. That's not good. Look at things with an open mind like we talked about and you will grow. You will grow and grow in this field. So hoping to go for my bachelor's because I got an associate's in science and ultrasound. Um, and the school that I went to is now starting their bachelor's program in medical science or I don't know the exact term. So I'm going for that too. And I have to study for an exam for that as well. And my brain is just like, no. Um, but that is like my priority right now, just to do that test so I can apply and get into it and then start that. And then like maybe in the summer, I'll take my OBGYN. I can't promise that though, but I'm saying it out loud so I can promise it to myself, but I have just been so tired, <laughs> but it is, it's worth it. I feel like the first year is all like it's still learning ultrasound again you're always gonna learn but I feel like it's still learning like you're still learning do things on your own how to speak to doctors how to speak to patients how to go about pathology like you're still learning so much and again you can be scanning for 20 years and then you come across something that you've never seen you know so <sighs> overall I do love ultrasound um, and I really encourage anybody who's interested in it, like watch these videos on YouTube. I think that everybody's experience is so different, but I think that's what makes the field so unique. You can do so many different things, vascular, echo, OBGYN. You could just do general somewhere. You could do neuro, peds. Oh my gosh. Another thing, speaking of peds, I have, I learned baby heads this year as well. Oh my gosh. So excited. I've, I've already done like baby kidneys and such that wasn't too big of a thing um because to me they're kind of like a, they're like adult and of course they're much smaller and the baby can be you know moving a lot and you know it can be harder to kind of keep the baby still and get the prettiest of images because baby can be moving kicking crying etc um i got to do like a baby hepatic doppler which i was like what I did that with my coworker. She took me with her and I she did the abdomen complete. I did the hepatic Doppler. I was like, what in the world? My hospital doesn't have peds. If we do, we have like a level two NICU. So we'll do baby heads and like baby kidneys. That's about it. Uh, but we had a baby where we had to do that on. Um, I don't have any peds experience. I don't do like, we get appendixes here and there in the ER, but we don't do like intussusceptions or pyloric studies, which I would love to learn. But that'll be something in the future because I'm going to tackle on breast for now and OBGYN, OBGYN in the sense that I'm going to take the rest. I would say my favorite exam is an abdomen. Abdomens are just, I don't know. I love abdomens. I don't know why, right up a quadrants, abdomen completes. Oh my God, especially when you can see that spleen. So beautiful. Mm beautiful another thing that i realized that i like too were aorta scans um at the outpatient center that i work at we get a lot of them and i was like oh my goodness i haven't done a dedicated aorta scan in like a year like since i was a student they're so pretty when they're easy of course. i don't know what it is about abdomen i love abdomen i love OBGYN too i love doing like estimated fetal weights and biophysical profiles we don't really do anatomy scans um often but I love the babies and oh my goodness, my coworkers, they'll call me the baby whisperer because the baby will not be moving like the whole time. And they call me in at the end, you know, do my little magic and babies move in, babies opening their mouth, babies yawning. The amount of times I've seen babies yawn in this past year and a half, it like makes me so happy. It is the cutest thing in the world. If you've seen it and you've caught it, you know, this is the cutest thing in the world. I love it. Let me know down below your experience as a sonographer. Um, I know there's so many of us on here and I love it so much. I watch you girls all the time. I appreciate you guys so much for sharing your experiences and also comment down below, like what are you interested and most looking for? If you're an ultrasound student or you're looking to get into ultrasound, like leave down, leave me questions or comments or anything down below. Um, I hope you guys like this video. I am a little nervous because I was a little, uh, you know, open. Um, but I think it's a conversation that needs to be had and I think it's also reassuring. So, um, let me know down below your guys' thoughts and your experiences and I hope we all continue to grow and glow, but grow in this field and continue to learn and just flourish as the best sonographers that we can be. And you guys 
my fellow ultrasound techs, ultrasound students, you guys are amazing. You're going to change lives and thank you for being in this field and for helping people. Let me know down below. I will definitely be creating more sonography content. I've just been super tired, so I'm sorry, guys. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye.